So we've entered our feed test for our silage and now we're going to develop a ration. So the first thing the app asks us is details about the livestock. So firstly we've got to give the mob a name and I'm just going to call those ewes. Then we select the livestock class and in this case it's uh, last month of pregnancy, twin lambs, they're pregnant with twins. The number in the mob is 250. Their live weight is 60 kilograms and that's the average live weight of the mob. And the feeding period we're putting in is 30 days. And so it automatically tells us today's date, which is the 4th, and that we're going to finish feeding those um, in January on the 11th. The animal frame size we'll put as medium, because they're medium frame merinos. And then we're going to click Next. What we'll notice is uh, a warning's just appeared because I actually entered 38 days feeding period, not 30. And um, so they would have progressed into the first month of lactation. So it's asking, do we want to continue or edit that? I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to uh, change it from 38 days to 30. It is really easy to punch in the wrong number. So if you're getting some weird outcomes or outputs from the app, this is the first place to check. Firstly, to make sure you've put the right live weight in and the feeding period and the numbers in the mob. We entered the livestock details, but we'll, before we uh, select next to move on to the next part of the app, there's a little button there that says save as draft. If I click save as draft, what that will do is save this next uh, ration development as a draft. So it won't account for the feed that's going to be used as part of it, um, a feed inventory. It, it will save the run, but it won't save the f into the feed inventory, and that'll become clear a little bit later. But we want it to, so I'm going to not save it as a draft. I'm going to go as if um, it's, a, it's a mob that I actually want to feed. So I'm going to click Next.